Hey guys, it's Candace and Bill. And we are in the shop. It's the ready. The first ever video tour of the Rusted Roots Barn Shop. It is complete. It is ready for everyone to come out and check it out. Yeah, so we are having our grand opening on April 21st and 22nd. So that's this Friday and Saturday. Yep. 10 to 5 both days. And we got lots of fun stuff. Yeah, we're going to have live music both days. Both days. We're going to have uh, food trucks on uh, Friday. Friday. Hot, hot donuts, you guys. Yep. Burgers, chili cheese fries, and ice cream carts. Yep. A hot dog cart on Saturday. And we have a whole little picnic area where you guys can come and enjoy the music and the food and the Rusted Roots Barn Shop. Yep. And we are going to give you the first official tour of what the shop looks like. And we're going to do that right now. So if we're going to start, why not start right when you walk through the doors of the old barn shop. So we have this awesome Hoods ice cream sign that we've shown on social media. You guys love it. And we put the angel wings on both sides. Look at all of these windmill blades. So we have all sizes of full windmill blades and half windmill blades starting at one foot all the way up to four feet wide. So we have a whole variety and these are awesome as wall art. These are down inside of a four foot primitive dough bowl trencher. You guys, look at this like copper on here. This is some crazy patina on this piece right here. It's the only one we have. So, and you'll see that we have our antique olive buckets down on the bottom. There's a ton of those scattered throughout the shop. We have metal numbers and metal letters. The little ones are inside the shop. They're six bucks a piece, so you can stock up on those. And we have our farmhouse pennant bander, banners. rather. There's pigs, there's cows, and there's chickens, so you can't go wrong. So we took our old truck counter from our shop in Hillsboro. It had gotten a little bit too small for us, so we needed something bigger. So, but we wanted to keep it in the shop. So we made it into a t-shirt display. This is where we put all of the new Rusted, Root, Rusted Roots t-shirts and all the sizes are up here. So when you are looking for yours, it'll be right up here. Another section that we are totally stoked about is all of our cotton that we got in. So we have cotton wreaths, cotton stems, cotton arrangements. The stems are only eight bucks and they're 18 inches tall. So you can always trim them down if you want something shorter, but these are the good, nice, tall ones that you can put in your vases. We have two different kinds of wreaths that are for sale and then tons of galvanized vessels that you can use for all of your cotton arrangements. And right between the cotton and our t-shirts is the hold station. If you're walking around the shop and you got your hands full, there will be people that will help you out Bring your stuff right over here and drop off the stuff and pick it up later. So I guess the best way to do this is to kind of take you around the outside of the shop and then we'll hit the stuff in the middle. So we've got a whole section here, a farmhouse kitchen. That clock is ginormous and has a really good vintage style to it. Um, so, all right, we've got tons of kitchen stuff, the rusty graters that's turned into the planter. Look at that little piggy uh, paper towel holder. And then we have some authentic antiques like the rusty scale, the rusty pie pans, um, lots of ideas for your farmhouse kitchen. I love these salt jars here. Those are super, super versatile and they're really cute. And look at those wooden rolling pins. Those have such great patina on them. Up above is a produce scale that is actually a working clock. It runs off of one double A battery. So super cute, you could put some flowers or greenery down in that. We've got some vintage inspired dairy signs and then there's that double basket that rolls. And I'm gonna show you guys because this basket rolls in all directions. It's super user friendly. Would be really cute maybe for a laundry room or even in a kid's room for toys. We have two of them available in the shop. So those will be available this Friday and Saturday. As we move down, you'll see that we've got some of our upcycled goodies and some salvage architecture. This piece here is pretty amazing. This cabinet is made from salvaged tin, an old gate, 
and it's got an old door there, or an old chair rather, on the top there. So lots of character with that piece, definitely a one of a kind. As we come around, you'll see we've got some antique grocery baskets. Those are always cute for organizing at home. We've got mail carriers. And then these here, we have had these lamps before and we sold out of them. They've been super, super popular. Um, so we've got six of those and that's all we've got for this sale. This corner of the shop is filled with our farmyard friends. There are all kinds of barnyard animals that are here for you to see and enjoy. We've got horse heads that would mount on the walls and this horse banner here. There's a little uh, aluminum chicken or tin chicken back there and some cow head hooks over here. So every good farmhouse has a laundry room and this is our section that is dedicated to all things laundry. So we have our handmade old fashioned laundry soap. We've got the big jars and then we also have the little boxes as well. These are only $5 and make for really super cute gifts. Um, and then we have some really cool soap dishes. I'll pull these out. So there's the little piggy and then we have a cow and then we have some galvanized soap dishes down here as well so this is definitely all things laundry all things bathroom these are really cute these are vintage inspired clothespin bags and then of course we've got some authentic antiques there with the ironing board and the washboard down below oh and check out this laundry cart another cart that is super cute rolls really well would be really cute in a laundry room uh, to move your laundry from room to room right across from the laundry stuff is the vintage uh, soda crates and on this shelf here are some really cool mini tiny little mason jars and I'm a pretty big guy and these are pretty tiny uh, little mason jars here. We also have a bunch of locker baskets down below them and some uh, tobacco lab uh, boxes. These are really neat. They're handmade up in Pennsylvania. So the old jelly cupboard, that was a thing that you guys loved online. We put that here with all of our sweet tea candles. These are exclusive to Rusted Roots. They are made right here in Meta, North Carolina, hand poured soy candles. They melt straight down to the bottom and smell super duper yummy. You guys, look at these lamps. I wanna get it away from the window so you can see these are so stinking cute and they run off of two double a batteries so there's an led bulb on the inside we've got four of these in two different sizes really great patina they would be wonderful to put on a mantle so you don't have to have the cord hanging down and look at all those cute little creamers that we got as well as you come around more farmyard animals so we have a lot of busts in the shop this go round. So this is another cow head that we have and another pig head. And look at that guy. Talk about some patina and he's a big boy. So, and we've got some salvaged tin here. So these are old ceiling tiles. So they're white, chippy, and a little bit rusty. That's how we like things around here. And then we've got these farm fresh wooden signs here, which are really neat because they're not painted. They're actually carved out of the wood. So the piece of wood is black and then the letters and the cow were carved out of that. So this is our pyramid of old wagons. It's like a wagon in a wagon in a wagon. It's in really a wagon. Kind of in a wagon. And then right over here we have some tiny windmill blades. These things are pretty cool. Uh, we have a bunch of different sizes of these, all different sizes. And we also have them in halves as well. And this is an old watchmaker spinner. So it actually spins and is super cute would be great for a craft room or for organizing small things and look at these farmyard animals here how cute are these we got them displayed in a rusty chicken feeder and if you saw the wagons earlier look at this little garden display so this is an antique seed box here we've got some naturally aged terracotta pots some rusty pots as well everything you need for gardening this spring. So now let's try to hit the middle and show you around here. So look at these scoops. So these were designed specifically to hang right on the wall. You could put greenery, you could put candles, lots of decorating ideas there. And I really love these too. 
So these are just the produce scale part without the scale at the top, but look how they hang from an old pulley style hook. I think those are really, really cute. Again, lots of opportunities for decorating there. All right, so let's come on around. More naturally aged terracotta pots there. And look at the chippy white pigs. Aren't they so cute? So these would be cute indoors or outdoors. If you've got like a really cute garden area, maybe on your back porch or your front porch, those would be super cute. More of our windmills. Those are the two foot windmill blades there as you come around. And look at this. So this is a double galvanized bin. So kind of the same idea as the produce scales, but this is a double bin, lots of storage opportunities. You could do produce, you could do flowers, you could do lots of stuff in these. And we have our birdhouses down below that Papa Rusted Roots made. So those are all handmade right here locally. I wanna show you this area as well because here's some more stuff you could put in your farmhouse bathroom. All right, so down here are all of the toilet paper holders and we put a couple up on the wall so that you can see exactly how they hang and how to display them. As we come around this little corner, you'll see our rusty crusty chicken sign that you guys love. So that's where you'll find that. Lots of salvage architecture down below and some really cool galvanized storage bins. And I'll show you these little guys because they are actually magnets. So it pulls right apart and goes right back together. Great for um, displaying photos or business cards. Those are really cute too. And then of course, these are our feed sack bags. So there's several different designs. I think we've got about eight of these feed sack bags available this Friday and Saturday. Here's another couple of our really big um, cow and pig heads that we have. I love the look of the black and white one. That one is super cute. And right dead center in the middle of the shop, you'll see that there are lots of great farmhouse decor, rusty chairs, old whiskey barrels. We've got these for sale. There's a ton of them outside. You guys can get those. We'll help you load them up. All you got to do is pull around to the furniture pick pickup section. And the patina on that antique um, cabinet there is super cute. These are the succulents that Papa Rusted Roots and I made. Check out our social media to hear the story about the wood that these are made out of and the technique that was used to get that look. And then we've got a really cool chippy bench that you'll see there and an old farmhouse cupboard. That black cupboard there came out of an old farmhouse and some more windmills down below. All right, so let's come up to this section. Lots of burlap here. We've got our red truck burlap pillows. I think those are super cute. We've got some burlap stars, small, medium, and large. And they have hangers on the back, so it would be easy to pop that right on a wall. As you go around to the other side, you'll see there's a couple of wreaths that are made out of rusty buckets. So those would be super cute with some succulents down inside. And then you saw these when you first came in the shop. These are all of our barnyard pillows, cows picking, pickings, pickings you guys, chickens, goats, and cows. Those are so, so cute. And you'll see those right when you come in the shop. So I know that I blazed through a ton of stuff. Take one good look around the shop and you'll be able to kind of see how it all fits together. Um, you'll be able to kind of tell where things are so that you'll know what you're looking for when you come in. Right by the register, we have some of the really cute doormats. So these are like super great, very thick Sissel doormats. Um, hey y'all are so cute. And so those are right by the front register. We have greenery all throughout the shop as well that's for sale. All of it will have a tag on the bottom. So you can just pick that right up and see what the prices are. Again, with all of our antique olive buckets. And then we have, look at this piece. I have to point this one out. And then I'm gonna wrap things up. But, um, but that's everything that we have in the shop. There's a ton more stuff outside. So we'll show you that 
a little later. So I know I totally blazed through she that went little through tour. A lot in a very short period of time. I did, because there's so much to show you here at the old barn shop. We have completely packed it out, not just inside but outside as well. Yeah, so we have a ton of stuff outside, a whole shopping area, as well as a pay area outside. So all of the goodies that you find outside, you can pay for them out there and then go and load them up in your car. So we did an entire video to show you how that works um, and to show you the parking situation so you know what the parking lot is like and where to go when you get here. And also outside will be food trucks. On Friday, we're gonna have a- um, Hot donuts. Yep, yeah, hot donuts and we're gonna have burgers and fries. Chili and cheese fries, y'all. <laughs> and we're also going to have live music both days. Yes, and we will have a hot dog cart, ice cream cart on Saturday. Oh, I those. Yep, lots of goodies, lots of treats, and we have a little picnic area set aside. So you guys uh, bring your buddies, bring your friends, and bring your appetite because there will be lots of goodies to munch yep. on when you shop the Rusted Root Shop. And the grand opening is April 21st and 22nd. That is this Friday and Saturday. The times are 10 to 5 both days. Yes, and we are so excited to see all of you. We thank you for your support yep. in getting us to this point online and here locally. We are so excited to see you guys at the new Rusted Roots Bar Shop. See you guys there. Bye.